Good morning. It is Saturday morning. 525 is on and warming up. This is what it looks like. Been with the 39 Switch Cup Labs. Good morning. Good morning. It's very cold and snowy out here, as you can see. Really wispy snow. In fact, when he closes that, it makes a nice little imprint. But uh, he's going to be on his way back, so I'm sure we'll try to get him on another vlog soon. But it's freezing. The car's warming up. Anything to say this morning? Um, it's a bit nippy out here. Bit nippy. That, that's an understatement. All right. I'm going to the grandparents' house in a few minutes. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. I've got to say, I have never seen a 525 look so good than his does right now with the, the 6000K fog light bulbs and the xenon looking halo bulbs that I have in mind. That really looks nice in my mirror. There he's coming up, look at that. How nice does that look? We've got E39s everywhere. One, two, three. Okay, up there I see the BMW E53 X5 series. Maybe it's Andrew. All right, so it's 9.20, it's 14 degrees, I'm on my way. Um, Bobby just left, we convoyed downtown, got a few pictures of the cars together. Um, needless to say, that was a very unexpected, unplanned, quick visit from Jersey. It was awesome to see the car. Um, never had been in a 525 before or anything. I see several of them around town. A couple of 530s, many more 540s, but the most popular E39 in Hudson is probably a 528, which they only made in 2000, and they were nowhere near as nice as the uh, 525s in some ways. If they're taken care of nicely, then they're okay, but otherwise, they're pre they're all pre facelift so unfortunately, a lot of them that we see are not fine examples. Um, Let's see, what are we doing today? I don't really know what we're doing today. Going to the grandparents' house, I don't know what's up. I don't think we have any big projects scheduled over there. We'll probably go to the Acme, get our donut fill, and probably find something to keep us busy. So if it's interesting, I'll film it. If not, I'll probably talk to you in like 12 hours when I'm tired as hell. Oh, 19 degrees. Um, Bobby's on his way back. We're here at the grandparents' house. We just went over to Bob Evans and got ourselves some lunch. We brought her back some soup. Uh, it's cold, she didn't want to come out, so we got her some soup. Check it out. 80 degrees, heated seats on. I even have the, the rear window thing on, and it's opening that back window up for me. But the roads aren't really done, so we're just sliding all over the place. It's been a blast. I could make that more fun or stupid with the press of that button, but that's suicide, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to head over to Acme, get some detergent or something like that, uh, and then come back here, and I don't know what's going on for the rest of the day. I'll keep you posted. Oh, th this is where this car is best. Check this out. Can you see the road conditions here? They're, they're not exactly great. My steering wheel is turned. I'll get a thing open here. Look at this. I could put the foot to the floor right now. We aren't going anywhere. I spend half my time with the wheel turned 90 degrees. We're in first gear. There, we caught a little bit up to 10 miles an hour or so. This car on an inch of slush is undrivable. Go around this corner here at about five miles an hour. The whole back end slides around. We got a whoa. There's a curb over there. Shit. Okay, we caught it. <laughs> My God, it is fun though, I guess, if, if you know what you're doing and there's no traffic. And we let it idle, so we got a light on and uh, the gas light, so I guess I'm gonna have to stop at Shell. Usually I stop Friday nights. I don't know why I didn't yesterday. I guess I didn't think about it. Today is uh, Saturday, so I'll stop and we'll fill her up. We didn't do a whole lot over at the grandparents today. Uh, I ended up actually taking a little bit of a nap considering there's some traction. Considering I actually took a nap from like four to five, I'd never do that. I never take naps, and I probably won't be able to sleep tonight now, which is gonna suck. But uh, we'll see. For good rates, we'll see. But I didn't get to sleep until four or something, so. That would be why. Okay, we're full. Our range is now 264 miles on a full tank of gas. We have Christmas music on. I think we're gonna skip that song. More Christmas music, CD2's disco. We'll see what three holds in store. We gotta get out of here, I don't wanna hold people up. Where the roads are salted, it's not bad. It's just wet, a little mucky, but where it's not done, it's, it's a disaster. Let's turn some headlights on here. Nice turn signal on the Jeep. All right, I don't really know what I'm filming. It's John Mayer on CD3, or Jack Johnson, whatever. I'll talk to you guys later.
Oh, look at that. Actually getting somewhat decent gas mileage for 30 miles an hour in fourth gear. Obviously, we're in neutral coasting to a stoplight now, but still, 19.2 isn't bad. I'll wait for the light to go green as I do a normal acceleration pull away from the light. I bet it goes down to about 17. 19.2, the other light's red. All right. We'll hook up first gear. Already down to 19.1, 18.6. All right, I'm going to stop looking at that now. Focus on shifting gears here. There's third. How far is it down now? 17.8. Almost up to speed. Yeah, that's good enough for this road. Fifth gear is 17.5. So that killed like two. Though to be fair, that consumption rating reading has only been running for maybe... Um, two or three miles, maybe five minutes since downtown, six minutes, and we're already back to 18.2 by turning into my neighborhood here, where I plan on going in, charging up the Retina Pro. I used most of its battery today, playing with iPhone and stuff, showing the grandparents and whatnots. So, um, I'll take you from home. All right, we're home. Check this out. I can't believe I made it in the driveway. There's uh, probably, I don't know, four, five, six inches of fresh, very powdery snow. That's probably why I made it. It's really light. Those kind of the flakes you can, I took a picture with the iPhone and the flakes on the car. It's probably too dark. If it's any good and you can actually see what I can see with my eyes, I'll throw it, I'll throw it in here right about now. You probably didn't see it because it wasn't a good photo, but if you did, then maybe maybe you enjoyed it, but probably not. So I'm going to head out now with the snowblower and see if I can take care of this. It's a little bit dickered and it's still coming down. We're supposedly going to get another half inch to an inch tonight and then an inch tomorrow, but the next couple days, I was just watching the news a little bit ago, they said the next five days-ish will be cold and snowy, and then we're back up into the mid-40s, and they said maybe we'll even see the sun, because we haven't, it's not San Diego, so hopefully we do. But I'm going to strap up my, my German boots, and we'll get out there, and uh, we'll start up some equipment and do some work. All right, boys, 20 minutes later, it's done. I'm freezing. Um, remember when I got this? So this is the, uh, the snow whip here. It's a Troy Belt Storm. I think it's a 2410. It's a 24 inch. 2410. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty nice. We got a six speed manual transmission here on the column. Two reverse gears. Very nice. Automatic clutch. Over here, we have rotors. They work. And we did this. Unfortunately, well, I guess fortunately, but unfortunately for the snow thing, this is uh, right down to concrete, so I'm scraping along. It doesn't sound too hot, but we've got the whole driveway done, front walk as well. Turned out pretty well. I'm going to get the snow blower now, blow the excess snow off that, and the car was sitting outside all day, so it's it's nice and encased in ice. Check that out for size. Yeah, not so good. We'll blow that off. It is now 1.21 in the morning. Uh, I thought I would elaborate a little bit more on the computer. Uh, people ask me what happened with the other one. I don't really no. Something with the board. Passes, then it doesn't pass. This is according to the Apple Store I went in last Monday. It would pass, then it would not pass, then it would boot fine and work okay, and then it wouldn't work, and then it got to the point where it would barely work, and then I mean, I've been having problems with it for the last couple months. But anyways, this is the replacement. Mid-2012, or tch, wrong one. I'm trying to turn the keyboard off. Um, what do they call it? <laughs> I should know. Did I say mid or late? Mid-2012 Retina, the 2.7 i7, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, the 512 gig SSD, and over the 15-inch, I'm going to try to get the 13 tomorrow, that is in better operable condition, and I'll, I'll do a little review versus the 13, which is pretty much the same as the outgoing 15. Um, the display, if there weren't a reflection from that light over there, which by the way, the reflective properties, or the, the reflective, sorry, it's light, I can barely talk, the reflective... This display does not reflect nearly as much as the previous glossy displays on the MacBook Pros that I've seen. Yes, it reflects. If I turn this probably all the way off, you may barely be able to see me, but I'm there. Um, but the colors on this, not, not only the resolution is incredible, but the colors, the viewing angles from this, you can get on it at any angle, and it looks absolutely amazing. Right now I have it running in um, the more space resolution. If I put it in best for retina, you'll see it changes to the equivalent of, I believe, 1440 by 900, which it looks just huge and fumbly to me, and it's just ridiculous, and I, I can't look at something that big. It drives me nuts. 
my previous display, why am I filming up there, I'm sorry, my previous display was 1680 by 1050, which looked like that, so that's what I'm used to, but now I have the luxury of going to 1920 by 1200, which is essentially the 16 by 10 aspect ratio version of 1080p. If I open up a document that I just made in Photoshop here, which as you can see loads quickly, um, I started with the base resolution of this Retina MacBook Pro, which is 2880 by 1800. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. This yellow one, so that's black. The yellow one is 1440p. That's on very few TVs. Picture, that's, that's bigger than a 70 inch TV. Um, 1920 by 1200 is what I'm running in right now. 1080p is this blue one here. That's cyan, cyan, magenta, and yellow at 50% opacity. Uh, so 1080p is this blue one here, which obviously gets covered up by that one, but that's 1080p. That's what's on that 55 inch TV over there. And this is the display of a 15.4 inch laptop monitor. 720p is in pink, 1280 by 800. All the 13 inch MacBook Pros are 1280 by 800. That's the straight white one. 1440 by 900 is what they recommend. Well, I stretch mine all the way out to here and the full resolution is there. So I downloaded this app. I think it's called Change Resolution. It's free. I can type in whatever resolution I want to make it, of course, within constraints of the aspect ratio. If I type in 2880 by 1800, that will take up the entire display, and it is remarkable, to say the least. I will open a Safari window. Looks like I had something open here. I will full screen it and go to a web page you guys probably know. Sorry for the very long clip. This is Facebook. That's the little menu up there. This is my hand right next to it. That's the little menu that says about this Mac. If we open up about this Mac, it looks like that. If we open up a settings preference, it looks like that. We'll get rid of about this Mac. That's what settings looks like. You've got to be, I have pretty good vision. I can read it from about a foot back, not a whole lot more, maybe two feet if I squint. I mean, it, it's, it's cool to play with, uh, but I just don't see myself actually using it. I could full screen four YouTube videos in 720p and watch them on here. And yes, the CPU and graphics processing unit can control that. It's really cool. For freak's sake, look at that. That is my applications folder. If I open up that, whatever they call that these days, Launchpad, I gotta organize all my stuff. I installed Office on here. It's, it's just crazy. It's unnecessary. Look at my iTunes library. Right now, that's the resolution I was in before, 1200 1920 by 1200. If I full screen it, I can barely see anything. And that's why they didn't make this an app, a uh, option from stock, because uh, it's it's ridiculous. There's no better word for it than ridiculous, almost unusable. But I can change it back, opening that application and typing in the resolution I want. I'll see if I can do something with 1440. We'll see what we get. This is 2560 by 1600, which would be the 16 by 10 aspect ratio version of 1440p. Um, I don't know why I'm saying 1440p, it's probably a progressive scan anyhow. But uh, that's still a little bit too small. I could do 1080 on here, but the 1280 by, or the 1920 by 1280 seems to be what I think I'm gonna use most of the time. That's a nice comfortable resolution. I'll put it back. Well, this is what they call best for retina. It may be the clearest by 5%, but look how freaking massive everything is. That takes up like an eighth of the top of the screen. So I will keep it in more space, which gives me lots of real estate to do all my shit. All right, sorry, it's been a while since I've talked tech and it actually feels good. So uh, all those numbers and letters and stuff you either makes no sense to you or you're following me and you're actually interested. No, you're not. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna talk to Colt for a few minutes. It's just about 1.30. I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm hungry. And tomorrow is Sunday, so I'll probably sleep in and relax around here. Bobby got home safely, no problem. And uh, it's good. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Good night.